Hey everyone, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a hygiene haul, um, specifically drugstore products. Um, it's been a little bit since I've done one of these. I haven't like stopped picking things up. I've just definitely slowed down my pace a little bit now that I've built up what I think is a pretty decent sized collection. I don't feel the need to keep building. I just kind of want to work through what I have. But I did stop by Martin's recently, which if you guys don't know, it's a discount store. Um, I apologize if you guys hear any car noises. As I've mentioned, I'm next to a fairly busy intersection and it is about like nine o'clock. So, you know, nine o'clock traffic's running through. So I do apologize, but like I said, I recently went to Martin's, which is a discount store, and I just had a blast looking through all of their hygiene products. I did pick up quite a few items, as well as just some stuff that I snagged at Target recently. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I found, and if that sounds like something you're interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So I figure I might as well just start off with the Target items, since those are ones you guys can still find. I know the, the Martins ones are more like discontinued, so some of them you just, you might not be able to find. But if you have a discount store in your area, definitely go check them out. Some of the prices were really, really nice. <laughs> but so starting off with Target, sorry if the lighting just changed. I feel like now you can actually see me and I can actually like show you the products. So starting off with the first thing I got at Target, it is the Method Body Pure Peace Body Wash, and it's got peony, rose water, and pink sea salt. Now I'm not typically a floral girl, so this is one I've kind of like held off on getting for a while, but something about the peony and the rose water just kind of sucked me in, and I think it smells really good. I think it's because I've been using whipped rose and vanilla a lot lately, but I really been enjoying rose scents. So this one, again, the rose water just sucked me right in. It does have a very nice floral rose, but still kind of fresh. Um, that might be the pink sea salt. It might be just because it's body wash, but it does smell really, really nice. I'm a very big fan of it. Um, as I've mentioned before, I do love the Method Body Washes. Um, the formula is really nice. It's not like stripping. It's not the most moisturizing, so it's not gonna be, I always compare Dove and Olay, those are like my top tier most moisturizing body washes, but this one, the formula is very nice. Um, it's kind of like a step down from a Dove or an Olay in terms of moisturization, but overall scent is really nice. I'm very glad to have picked this one up. I really do just like the Method body washes. I have the, is it Berry Balance? I always forget the name, the purple one. I have that one in the shower right now and I'm, I'm using that one a ton. So I'm just, I'm really enjoying that formula right now. So I did want to pick up a different scent. And because I'm enjoying Method so much, I ended up picking up the hydrating body wash and I guess it's the coconut milk scent. I know they have a pink one too, but this is the, the blue one or the, the teal one. It's a very pretty color. I love teal, teal is so pretty, but. This one just has like a nice, clean, light coconut scent. Um, nothing too special. Like I wouldn't be like, you guys have to smell this right now. It's amazing. It's very fresh and clean and a little bit of coconut. Um, I was just really interested to see if this is any different than the other ones. Cause this is like hydrating body wash. I don't know if it's supposedly like a different formula or what the deal is, but I just wanted to try it out and again, I love coconut scents, so when I saw coconut milk, that sucked me right in and I had to snag it. But very nice scent. I'm interested to see if it is different than the other ones though. So I feel like this next product was, I mean, you had to imagine I was gonna be getting it soon. I knew the second I saw the one I have in my shower is getting pretty low, I knew I needed an, a backup. That is the St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter. This one is so good. I rave about it constantly because I love the scent. It's just like a nice cookie scent. It's very vanilla, it's very gourmand, it's very delicious. The formula is really nice too. It's not the most stripping, it's not, or it's not stripping, it's not the most moisturizing, 
but it's a really nice formula. Um, the scent is there, the formula is there. Really, really big fan. I knew I needed a backup because like, I think we're down to like this point in the one in the shower. Like it's almost gone. It's gonna be in the empties soon. Definitely my next empties video, it will be there. But it's one that I didn't want to be gone. Like I don't want to finish it and not have it. So I knew I wanted a backup of it. And since it is only like five or six dollars for this big tub, I felt okay adding it back into my collection. Um, it's not every day that I find a scent that once I finish it, I immediately have to snap it back up. But this one, super, super big fan of it. Definitely in love with the scent. Highly, highly recommend. If you get, yeah, if you get anything out of this video, I had to like survey what I got. If you get anything out of this video, definitely pick this one up. It is so, so good. Definitely one of my favorites at the moment. So I also snagged a couple of fragrance mists from Target. I got the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar. Sorry, the sticker got a little funky. They wrapped these really, really well. I just got my box last night, but that like Target tape that they have, everything, like there's no chance anything was gonna spill, but especially on like the Pacifica bottle, the residue is really, really so it's not as like pretty as I wanted it to be. And you guys can't tell, but it's like, it's sticky too. So that's a bit of a bummer. This is something, if I got it again, I would definitely pick it up in store rather than online just to avoid that whole tape issue again. But this one smells so good. Oh my gosh. It's one I had not smelled in stores. I had not even thought to smell it. I was just online looking at body washes and then just kind of like trying to find a way to fill up my cart. But I'm so glad I picked this one up. It's got just a nice creamy coconut scent. It's almost like a coconut ice cream, similar to vanilla coconut from Bath and Body Works. Um, so, so nice. This is their perfumed hair and body mist. I don't know if I said that before. So you can use it in your hair. I typically just prefer to use these on my clothes but, or on my clothes and my body. Not really my hair, but that's because I can be a little overprotective of my hair at times, and I don't like spraying things into it that aren't like hair care products. I don't know. I'm very, very particular about my hair. It may not seem like it because it looks the same in every video, but I, I'm very protective. <laughs> Way more protective than I need to be, it's just hair, but Anyway, Indian Coconut Nectar, I don't know if I said the name, again, packaging bothers me, it makes me a little frustrated, but really, really nice scent. This is one I can see myself flying through, I can see myself using a ton in the summer, really even right now, it's not like a super tropical coconut. Like I said, it's very creamy coconut, almost like a coconut ice cream. Very, very excited to have this, gonna be flying through it for sure. And then the last item I got from Target is actually a repurchase. Um, I had this a long time ago and I kind of missed it, so I wanted to snag it again. But it's the Pacifica Island Vanilla Hair and Body Mist. And this one was actually, um, the first time I got it, it was a gift from my husband for Christmas. And it's just such a nice, warm, almost tropical vanilla. Like, not quite full on summer, but it's very, very nice actually very similar to the other one that I snagged, but definitely obviously more of a vanilla note rather than coconut. I didn't realize I could open this, but really, really nice. Um, it's not flowery. It doesn't have any like floral notes. It's not spicy. It's really just a good all year round creamy vanilla scent. Um, very, very excited to have this back in my collection. This is one I probably should have grabbed in the full size but I'm happy to have it even in just like this little mini. Very, very excited to finally have this one back. Highly, highly recommend this scent if you like a good vanilla. All right, so moving on to my Mardin's purchases. First, I got the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion in the Cocoa Butter scent. I have never tried an In Shower lotion before. Um, I'm very, very curious to see how this works for me. From what the um, instructions say, it says that you just apply it to your skin after you like clean in the shower and then you rinse it off. So I'm interested to see like how moisturizing it can actually be if you're just rinsing it right off. 
Like it doesn't say you can leave it on. I mean, you probably could. I don't know. I'm very curious to try it out. Very excited to try it. I do have a Nivea lotion that I do like. So we'll see if this one's good too. Um, it's got a very light cocoa butter scent, but still really nice. I am a big fan of cocoa butter. So that's a plus for sure. But yeah, I'll definitely have to test this out and let you guys know my thoughts on it. Because like I said, I've never tried a product like this. I'm very curious to see how it works. So sticking with like hydration products, this is one I was looking for just at any store and I was very excited to find it at Martin's because again, I could get a discount on it. But it is the St. Ives Soothing Body Lotion in the Oatmeal and Shea Butter scent. So this thing is huge too, this is 21 fluid ounces. I'm so excited. I want to test out or I've wanted to test out the St. Ives lotion formula. Oh, it's got that same scent, oh my gosh. It smells so good, not as creamy as the body wash, but that's just like smelling it out of the tube. I'm sure once I actually like use it and rub it in, that scent will be a little bit more enhanced. That's kind of how lotions and most products tend to work. When you're just smelling it out of the tub, it's not as good as when you're actually using it, in my opinion but I'm very excited to test this out. Like I said, I've never tried their lotion formula before, but once I saw it there, I knew I had to snag it right up because again, it's one I've been looking for and to find it at a discount, like that was really exciting, but very excited to test this out. I will let you guys know my thoughts on it. Um, would you guys like to see a video like that? Where I like do an updated thoughts and opinions on like items I've hauled? I don't know what I would call it, something a little snappier than that, but I've been hauling a lot of things and I think it would be interesting to kind of see an updated how I'm liking them. Because when I haul it, like all I can say is, ooh, this smells nice. Or if I've tried it before, I can give more thoughts. But until I've like actually tried it, all I can say is, this smells nice. So would you guys be interested in seeing something like that? Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that because that could be really fun. Definitely a way to give um, a more thorough review on things that I'm purchasing. So very interested to test this out. Very curious to see how the formula is. It looks very standard lotion. I wouldn't say like super thick or super thin. Oh, actually that is fairly thick. You might not be able to see in here like you can see right down in where the the nozzle was very interesting okay so maybe a little thicker than I had anticipated but very interested to test this out I will definitely let you guys know my thoughts on this one so I believe this next product is one you can still get in stores but this is the Johnson's aloe and vitamin E oil gel I have the cocoa butter one, or it's like cocoa and shea or whatever, whatever the brown one is, I have that and I've been using it a ton lately. I do like these products. I will say, I don't know if I'm not like rubbing them in fully or what, but you do have a little bit of like a greasy edge left over once you've used it. Again, that could just be me not fully understanding how to use the product, but I follow the instructions on the back. You have damp skin and then you rub it in. I do like the formula. It's very, very moisturizing. It's something really, really nice to use after you shave because it is just that much more hydrating. Um, I don't know why, but it is. It's very, very nice. I'm very excited to have a more generic scent because I do love the cocoa and shea or cocoa butter or whatever the brown one is called. I do love that, but the scent is just a little too specific to use with most of my body care. Whereas this one is a more aloe basic scent. So I can layer up different products on top of it. And I don't feel like the two scents will be battling. So that's why I was looking for this one. And I was very excited to find it at a discount. Again, I think it's still available in like other stores as well, I think. Part of the thing with Martin's and maybe other discount stores too, I'm not positive, but is they'll get product from like stores that are closing as well. So it may not be like the brand discontinued the product, but the store itself is closing and they've been discounting their products and however that whole liquidation process goes. But 
they kind of send their excess shipment to a Martins or a discount store, I think. So I think that's why this and like that St. Ives lotion, that's why I was able to find them there. But regardless, I was very excited to find it. Very excited to have, again, just like more neutral scented oil gel to use. So this next one, I was kind of regretting not having bought around Christmas. So I was very excited to find it, but it is the Tree Hut Candy Cane Shave Oil. Shave oil, yeah. <laughs> Don't know where my brain just went, but I loved the candy cane line that they brought out this past Christmas. I know it's a scent that they have brought back the past few years, but I think this was the first year that they had like a shave oil with the line. Ooh, that's, that's getting ambitious. Let's close that right back up. But it just smells so good. It smells like candy canes. It smells exactly like Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works. So like a nice peppermint scent, but it's still sweet and got like almost a vanilla edge to it. Very, very nice scent. I still have not tested out the formula. <laughs> I swear, I'm sorry guys. I keep talking about this and the, um, the Tahitian vanilla bean one that I have. I still haven't tested out the formula, so I don't know how it works for me. Now I have two of them. Um, again, I was very excited to find anything in this scent this late in the year, because now it's March. At least it's March when I'm filming this, but very, very excited. Super pumped to test this out. Um, but yeah, at some point I will actually try the formula, so I'll actually be able to tell you guys my opinion on it. So this next product, I believe, is also still available in stores, but it is the Find Your Happy Place Lazy Weekends Fine Fragrance Mist. And it says um, sweet almond and vanilla bean at the bottom. I don't know if there's, let's see. Um, notes of toasted marshmallow, caramel drizzle, vanilla bean, and almond blossom. And this is one I've been eyeing every time I go into Walmart. But something about just paying full price for it, I've never been super excited. This came without a cap, by the way. It was the only one in the store, otherwise I would have opted for one with cap. Ooh, that was a bad idea. Why did I do that? <laughs> Don't do that, guys. That is potent when you open it like that. That's why it's a mist and not like an oil. <laughs> but I have sprayed this one a couple of times. But it is a very nice, sweet scent. It's not overly sweet. I don't know if I would qualify this as a gourmand exactly, but it's a very nice scent. Again, it's one I believe is still available at like Walmart. Yeah, I think it's just Walmart that this brand is sold at. I'm not positive, but you can find this one at Walmart. I was, I was actually at a Walmart the day I went to Martin's, so I was looking at this scent and I almost picked it up there. So I'm so glad I didn't and I saved a couple bucks buying it at the discount store. But really nice scent. I have not tried any of their fragrance mists yet, so I can't speak to like lasting power or you know, if a little goes a long way or anything like that, I cannot speak to that yet. But I will definitely give you guys my thoughts and opinions once I have tested this out further. All right, and then I also got the Johnson's Soft and Pamper Body Wash in the Pineapple and Lily scent. This is something I didn't even know existed, so it's something I've, I've never been looking for, but I thought it would be interesting. I've never tried a Johnson's Body Wash. I've also never seen a Johnson's Body Wash that isn't like a baby formula because they do a lot of like the baby lotions and body washes and shampoos and all that stuff. They're very much like a baby brand, I've noticed. So I don't know if this is like baby or not. It doesn't say anything, but the pineapple scent on this is so good. It's definitely a more flowery pineapple because I mean, it's got that lily in there too, but very excited to try this out. Again, I've never tried a Johnson's body wash. I didn't, I didn't even realize they made body wash. So very excited to test this out. The scent is very nice, um, but yeah, I will let you guys know, as I've been saying with everything else, I will let you guys know what I think once I've actually had the chance to try it. So I believe I've saved the best for last. This was something, it was the only one there. It was wrapped up perfectly, so no one had like dug into it yet. Cause sometimes that can happen. That's like the sad reality with discount stores is sometimes people will like open up a product and kind of gonna dig into it but this was completely fully sealed there wasn't even like a price sticker on it so 
felt really bad because like the sales attendant had to call a manager to go do a price check but this was the only one there so she had to like go find something so I felt felt really bad but it was also something I didn't want to give up so I was that person I hated it but I was that person but it is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in the Kiwi Seeds and Cool Aloe scent. This one, I know you can't find at stores anymore. This one, I've seen YouTubers that have had it and have talked about how like exclusive and hard to find it is. So I was very excited to find it for like four bucks. But it's a very fresh scent. I will say that. The aloe and the kiwi, definitely a very fresh combo. Smells really good. I do like it. It's something I could see pairing well with like the Dove Cucumber body wash. Um, they both just have like a really nice fresh edge to them. This one, it doesn't have like the, ex it doesn't have like the exfoliation grade on it. So I don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm very interested to try it out. Um, it still smells good and it still looks Fine, so I'm not concerned that like I've bought an expired one. If it does feel off when I use it, I will definitely let you guys know. But very excited. Again, this one, I had no idea I would ever possibly find it other than online for really expensive. So I was very excited to find it at a discount store of all places. And yeah, very, very excited. I feel like I'm gonna say that 12 more times but very excited to snag this one and have it as part of my collection. I do love the Dove exfoliating body polishes. The Dove formula and the Tree Hut formula are my two favorites. I don't believe I can pick a favorite between the two because they are so different, but they both work so well. So excited to add another one to my collection. And the scent is just really, really nice, very fresh and clean. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment. I have absolutely loved hearing from you guys and just, you know, chit chatting back with you, just talking about body care. It's been a really fun interaction in the comments. I do love that aspect of this. It's like having a bunch of friends that I've never met, but we all have this one commonality of loving body care and just loving to talk about it but i will see you guys next time bye